as we prepare for the upcoming of deck core mathematics paper we are going to solve three questions on indices so the first question happens to be of deck 2010 question 9a question 1 simplify the square root of x cubed times y exponent 5 divided by x times y exponent 7 where x is greater than 0 and y is also greater than 0 so this is a very simple problem let's solve this problem together so we have the square root of x exponent 3 times y exponent 5 divided by x times y exponent 7 now according to indices if you have the square root of a value or the square root of a variable then that is the same as having the variable exponent half so we have x exponent 3 times y exponent 5 divided by x times y exponent 7 all exponent 1 over 2 now we can further express this expression as x exponent 3 and because this is the denominator x has an exponent of 1 so we can resolve this to be x exponent negative 1 times y exponent 5 times y exponent negative 7 or exponent 1 over 2 now let's simplify so we have x exponent 3 minus 1 and 3 minus 1 is 2 times y exponent 5 minus 7 is negative 2 so all exponent 1 over 2 because we are still working with indices or in indices we can simplify this as x exponent 2 divided by y exponent 2 and we have all exponents 1 over 2 now we are going to distribute the exponent to the variables so this becomes x exponent 2 times 1 over 2 divided by y exponent 2 times 1 over 2 so this becomes x exponent 1 over y exponent 1 which is the same as x over y so after simplifying this expression we have our final answer or our final expression to be x over y now let's solve our next question now to our second question and this is novdeck 2011 question 2 solve for x and y in the following equations 2 exponent x plus 4y equals 1 and then 2 exponent x plus 8y equals 1 over 4 now to solve for x and y we need to resolve these equations into linear equations these are exponential equations however we need to resolve these into linear equations to solve for x and y so for the first one we have 2 exponent x plus 4y equals 1 now we know that any non-zero number raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 therefore this is equal to 2 exponent 0 because we have the base on the left hand side to be 2 now since the bases are the same then we can compare their exponents so we say that x plus 4y is equal to 0 now we can call this equation 1 now to the second one we have 2 exponent x plus 8y equals 1 over 4 1 over 4 is the same as 4 exponent negative 1 and then 4 is 2 exponent 2 so 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 also we have the bases to be the same so we can compare their exponent so we say that x plus 8y is equal to negative 2 now we call this equation 2 at this point we have two linear equations so we can solve them simultaneously to find the values of x and y so from equation 1 we can make x the subject so make x 
the subject from equation one. So from equation one, we are going to transpose four y to the right hand side. So that is x equals negative four y. Let's call this equation three. And then we put equation three into equation two. So we have x to be negative four y. So negative four y plus eight y equals negative two. Negative four y plus eight y is four y. So we have four y equals negative two. We divide through by four and then we have y equals negative one over two. At this point, we are going to put y equals negative one over two into any of the equations. However, equation three looks a bit simpler. So we put y into equation three. So from equation three, we have x equals negative four y. So negative four, and then we have y to be negative one over two. Now, if you multiply, then you have the answer to be two. Therefore, we have x to be equal to two. Therefore, we say that x is equal to two and y is equal to negative one over two. Now to our third question. This happens to be Novdeck 2014, question 1b. Solve simultaneously the equations 5x minus 4y equals 6 and then 3 exponent 3 times y minus x equals 1 over 27. So here we have one linear equation and we have one exponential equation. To solve these two equations simultaneously, we are going to resolve this exponential equation into a linear equation. So for this one, we have 5x minus 4y equals 6. We call this equation 1. Now let's resolve this exponential equation into a linear equation. So we have 3 exponent 3 times y minus x equals 1 over 27. Now this is the same as 27 exponent negative 1. And then 3 exponent 3 is 27. So we have 3 exponent negative 3 because of this negative 1. We multiply negative 1 by 3 and we have negative 3. Now since we have the basis to be the same, we compare their exponent. So we say that 3 times y minus x is equal to negative 3. Let's expand this expression. So this becomes 3y minus 3x equals negative 3. Because 3 is common to all the terms, we can divide through by 3 so that we have y minus x is equal to negative 1. Let's call this equation 2. Now we are going to solve these two equations simultaneously. So we can make x the subject from equation 2. So from equation 2, we say that make x the subject from equation 2. So from equation 2, we are going to transpose negative x to the right hand side and then negative 1 to the left hand side. So we have y plus 1 equals x. Let's call this equation 3. Now we are going to put equation 3 into equation 1. So this becomes 5 times x. We have x to be y plus 1 minus 4y equals 6. That is from equation 1. So this becomes 5y plus 5 minus 4y equals 6. 5y minus 4y is y. And then we have 6 minus 5. And this is equal to 1. Therefore, we have y equals 1. 
Now we are going to put y equals 1 into any of the three equations. Let's put that into equation 3. So from equation 3, we have x equals y plus 1. So that is 1 plus 1. And this is equal to 2. Therefore, we have x equals 2. So we say that x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.